Alright, welcome to Friday. It is towards the end of the deload week. Um, we've got some acceleration work to do today. I'm outside at the track even though the weather is not the greatest. The plan today is I got three sets of three on 20 meter accelerations. Um, and then that's pretty much it for today's morning session. The reason I'm outside is the indoor track is locked. I'm not sure if they're working on some things in there or whatever, but they don't have anybody in there training right now. So the other option for me is just be in the rain and run outside. Um, but it's not a lot of volume today. It's not gonna be a super hard day. I do have my spikes, so I won't be slipping around outside even though it's wet and raining, so it's no problem. Not sure how much I'll be able to film because I don't want to put the camera outside and get it wet. So I'm actually in this little like soccer bubble thing that they have for when they have the matches here. This is like their little side dugout place. We've got three sets of three, 20 meter accelerations, two minute rest in between each acceleration, and then four minute rest in between each set. Alright, first that's done. I've got a five minute break now. So, about two and a half minutes left of this rest. Um, it feels just terrible running in the rain, especially running on this track. It's, it's harder than the indoor track. So, given that it's harder, it's wet, it's raining, I've got a soaked sweatshirt on, which feels like I'm running with a, a mini weight vest on. But my mindset's kind of I'd rather get a shitty sprint workout in than no sprint workout. So, I've got two more sets of three reps. Um, I'm gonna knock them out. I'm just focusing on trying to be strong and powerful, not trying to overdo anything, especially because of the conditions. So I just wanna feel good through each of these sets and focus on mechanics and just trying to push through that 20 meter mark. So I've got about 90 seconds left to my rest and then we're gonna get after set two. All right, so this morning session was a wet one. So pouring down rain. Um, I think what's happening right now is we have regulations that are being put in place. Um, there's some coronavirus cases that are starting to happen again in Iceland. Rather than letting it explode, they're gonna jump on it real quick. And what they're doing is they're implementing some social distancing rules. They've canceled all the sporting events. Uh, for the next two weeks and they're just going to try to make sure that this doesn't spread for a second time in the country and have to close everything down. So I think that's why the indoor track was closed because it's also the indoor soccer field and that's where the teams practice and they've canceled practices for the next two weeks. So I think that's why that lockdown um, for the indoor track was there. But nonetheless, uh, outdoor track is obviously going to be open, a little bit shittier conditions, having to sprint in the rain, but it's not a big deal. Like I said before, I'd rather get a shitty workout in than get no workout in at all. I look back at the footage, sorry it's not the best, it had that rainy kind of shield right in front of it, so you got basically a blur of me running in the background focusing on some raindrops, um, so sorry about that. But afternoon session today is going to be a heavy snatch, heavy clean, back squats, lower accessory, a little bit of abs, and then that's gonna be it for the strength session. Good news is, is I get to train at my own place again. Place is looking amazing. Promise, I'm gonna get a tour for you guys. I know I keep saying that, um, but we're gonna be able to knock that out here in the next couple days. So next up is going to be the heavy snatches.
snatch is done. Almost hit 155, super close. Like I said, I think I'm four weeks out from really nailing a 155, maybe 158. That's the goal, I guess. New goal, 158, because I know 155 is coming, so new goal is 158. We got the little stencil going up right there. So next up is cleans. I'm gonna try to build up to a 185-ish, maybe 190, depending on how things are feeling. My clean has been a little low lately, so I'm gonna try to build that up over the next couple blocks. So I'm gonna do a little warm up and then we're gonna get out. So that's the PM session for today. Snatches felt amazing today. Real close again to hitting that 155, but attempting it three times I think drained me a little bit. Felt like all my energy tanked at that 180 kilos for the clean. So I attempted 190, did not get it. Felt just extremely heavy, felt like 210, and there was no way I was gonna be able to hit 190 today. So moved on to back squats. I had four sets of two at 60%, which was roughly 155 kilos for me. And then I had two sets of 10 on that single leg glute bridge, again, using that landmine variation um, for the single leg. But overall, great session, feeling good at the end of a deload, which is awesome, because next week we're starting a new power block, uh, week one, day one on Monday, so I'm excited for that. Strong ending to the week tomorrow, it's gonna be just an upper body strength day. I'm gonna be in and out of the gym real quick, and we've got our opening day for the gym itself. So hopefully be able to get that session up for you guys. If you guys are doing any of the workouts or any pieces of this program, make sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know how things are going. Let me know how your training is improved. And if you have any other questions, drop that down below as well. And also make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos as they are released. So you guys have a great day and we'll be back at it in the gym tomorrow.